welcome along and welcome back to Six Ashes. Today we are starting off with doing a bit of tedding. We've got the field of alfalfa left. Uh, needs to be finished off and tedded uh, before we can bale this up into uh, hay. And I think... Is that turning? Yeah, that's going. So you can see it's it's ever so slightly lighter, this here. And if I go here, alfalfa hay as opposed to alfalfa semi-dry. So I had a couple of di days to, to dry and we can now just run over it with our tether quickly uh, in the 7840. And then this will all be ready to get it uh, rode up and bailed uh plan then today is to uh, go round and on this field and on our field of hay which is also dried to go and get that uh those both rode up and then we have a massive amount of baling to do because our we've got this field we've got our field of hay and we've got a field full of straw to get bailed before we can finish off the contract that we've got uh, over on field which field we were at, we were doing our contract on field 59 uh, so yeah we've got a contract to field uh, finish over on field 59 which we can't do until we've collected all the straw up from that so uh yeah we've got uh, that to do as well so busy old day hopefully we're gonna get it all done and uh, we're going to get it all uh, collected up. Um, but uh, let's uh, get the heading finished on this field so that we can move on to the next bit. And after a little bit of back and forth, we've got this field nicely tethered and done. Uh, should get, I think we got about four bales off this field last time. It's not a huge amount. Rather telling is the fact that we haven't actually used any of those bales. Or haven't used all of those bales, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, our horses are um, nicely fed. And we could just feed them with this alfalfa and have no issue at all. It's, uh, it's not a big amount that they use. We're going to take this back down to the yard now and go and grab our windrower. Uh, and get this field rode up and then we can go and grab the baler and start the really big job we've got today so back down to the farm let's bring this in here and we're going to switch this for the rower so back this up and drop it down disconnect it And it's sort of escalating jobs we've got today. So we've got one field that we had to do with the tether. We've got two fields that we have to do with the windrower. And then we've got three fields we have to do with the baler. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's getting uh, larger and larger with each time. I think what we're going to do is probably get a bale, uh, an auto tra auto loading uh, bale trailer. So, but... But I said a bale stacker, not a not a scripted one, because I'm not a fan of doing that. Um, but uh, yeah, in order to get these bales up and to, to get that contract completed in a timely manner, I think we'll have to get the TW25 out uh, with uh, an Anderson, probably the Anderson bale stacker, and uh, and grab those bales with that. And so there we go, back down to the BGA skipping around the back here and into this little field it really I, I don't think this little field as good as the soil is under it will ever be good for anything other than than sort of just a, a little bit of uh, work like this uh, it is not a big field at all and uh, and it's just yeah not really gonna work for doing anything i mean it, uh, anything other than this kind of thing it has a total or well, it gives us a total of about four bales and as a result it's just really really small and uh and not massively useful um beyond the fact that it gives us four bales which is enough for us to actually feed our horses uh with hay so uh, there is that uh, fact to it, and we'll probably we may even end up selling the hay bales that we get off our off our grass field, uh, simply because 
we're, we'll be able to then uh, make a load of money off that hay and know that we can still feed our horses uh, really well. In fact, we don't have to keep any of this. We could sell uh, the four bales off this field. We could sell all of the hay bales off the other field and we would still have enough to keep the horses going for a good long while yet. So uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where we have a lot of options open to us right now. And it's a really good place that we've got ourselves into in this season, uh, in this series, within uh, within four years. I mean, we are only well, but this is this, this is halfway through the fourth year. So in three and a half years, in fact, uh, where pretty much everything we do right now is uh, is is profiting us. We're up to forty-seven thousand five hundred. We could we could afford to buy that Anderson's bale stacker pretty much. Uh, I think the next step, uh, if I was to, you know, to keep going here, uh, would probably be to start upgrading the farm. So, uh, looking at our tractors, looking at the age of some of them, and going, right, we uh, we need to move on to the the next thing and uh, and get a little bit, maybe a little bit more power on the farm and a little bit more. Uh, uh, a little bit more modern but other than that you know we're running this with a very nice uh, ford farm setup uh, including our, our ford class combine and uh, and it's working and we're making money and it's absolutely brilliant and we've got 30 and we've got 30 hours on this tractor 30 in fact about to have 31 hours on this tractor uh, and we're looking at uh, we've got a huge number of hours I think on the 6810 uh, and we're, we're looking at just yeah trundling along rather nicely until we have the money to to upgrade the next thing actually we probably want to buy on this farm is something to harvest the carrots on we have no dedicated carrot harvester we, we rent that every year so maybe by the time the carrot harvest comes around this year, we might be able to afford a carrot harvester. That would that would be a turnout. That would be an improvement for us on here. So uh, we might see where we are at that point and whether we've actually sold anything to do it. Um, we can't get a loan, of course, to uh, to buy it. Uh, that is one of the rules of this series. We are doing no loans on here. Uh, but maybe, just maybe, we might have enough cash by the end of this year to buy ourselves a carrot harvester and finish off uh, the equipment that we need to run this farm. Right, that is this field done. Let's turn that off and fold it back up. And we're going to head over uh, into the main part of the farm and see if we can get our grass or our hay rowed up now. Into our farm and into the field. We can now get this all rowed up. Still need to sort out this area we have at the top where we used to have the shed. Uh, now that we've got everything down in the farmyard at the bottom. Uh, but... This field should be pretty good. We're taking two rows at a time in the uh, with the wind row, which uh, halves the time that we have to take with the. Oh, there we go. Uh, that we were taking with everything else, with our mower and our tether, um, because they're they're both sort of half the size of uh, this podinger. Uh, I was having a look at the oats on the way back, and yeah. I think next game day is going to be really telling. If they if they make it through and uh, and and start growing properly, then I think we might get them. Otherwise, I I think with they are a lost cause. As many people have told me in the comments, uh, with the oats not working so well on here, uh, we don't need any oats thankfully this year. It is a fairly big crop of ours though, uh, and uh, and not a great one to lose. We may have to uh, try and make it up somewhere else. Uh, in fact, we, we kind of already have the, the... Let's close that gateway before we do this. 
the contract we did last time is going to very much make up for uh, what we, we, we're going to lose on the oats. So... I'm not I'm not too it's it's not too horrible but it's it's horrible enough to lose an entire crop like this. Uh, and we just have to remember if we're going to get oats in for next year uh, we need to get them in as a winter crop not a spring crop because as a spring crop on six ashes they just don't work. We should be able to squeeze through here just yeah and then out and round and yeah so uh, we're going to get this field rolled up and once we've got this done uh, we can start getting out there with the baler and getting these three bale, uh, these three fields baled up as well this wind row is a very nice piece of uh, efficient kit actually uh, it's done this field fairly quickly we are Coming up to the last few rows. Uh, it fits in the spaces we've got. It just, yeah, it just works really well. Uh, this is the one from the uh, Anderson pack. Uh, not the Anderson pack, the Alpine DLC, sorry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's got a nice width on it. It's great for a small farm like this. Where we're, we're not looking to have anything... Uh, that costs us a huge amount of money, but at the same time, uh, we're looking for something that will be nice and efficient. I think this is... I'm not sure how wide this is, actually. I think it's not wide as some of them. Uh, it is a... Let me bring up our garage. There we go. Uh, and it is a... Uh, 4.4 meters. So yeah, it's not as big as some of them, um, but 4.4 meters just gives us that little bit of extra width to be able to work with, and means that we're just a tad more efficient uh, in getting this done, as opposed to uh, to a three meter one that uh, is single. Uh, it, it is a single set of combs, and uh, you end up having to go back and forth. Uh, a little bit more to get things to pile up properly. Uh, we bring this across, and then that is that field done. Perfect. Very happy with that. Let's turn it off, fold it up, and then we will take it back down to our yard and switch out for our baler now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to bale the straw up first uh, that is a field we need to clear we've not got any issues as far as weather goes we do have issues as far as weather goes uh, although this is now hay and hay tends to be a little bit more resistant to the rain but yeah we kind of need to now get all of this uh, bailed and collected today it's gonna end up being longer than i wanted it to but we should be able to do it we've we've managed to get the rowing and the uh, remaining tedding done uh before midday it's three minutes to 12 in game and uh yeah it's uh it's been done before midday so that is a good start and we're just gonna go and get our baler onto this and get all of this bailed up now and uh, and hopefully collected as well um but we'll have to see how it goes uh either way i think we're still in a very good position um the rain has kind of come out of nowhere though we were looking at a couple of clear days and uh and now we don't seem to have it so uh let's get our cleaned up Ford baler out there and go and see if we can't get this straw baled up uh, with plenty of time to go and back out to uh, field 59 uh, we're going to move our combine off the field that will, uh, that will have to get shipped back to the farm in the near future. It is slightly annoying that we've got rain on the way uh, next game day because 
I was hoping to start on our own harvest. Uh, it should be day five of summer. And if we have a look at our fruits, uh, field 10 was looking very close to being ready when I drove past. And in fact, yes, I'm expecting field 10 to be ready to harvest next time. Field 60, I don't know if we've got a contract on field 60 as well. We've got that completed harvesting contract. Yeah, look, we've got several contracts that have come up now. Uh, lots of harvesting uh, available. So, yeah, we, we kind of want the rain to go away so we can uh, we can do some harvesting contracts. Uh, on here, though, we're going to get this started. This has got alfalfa hay in the back of it at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're going to create an alfalfa hay bale off this. Maybe it'd be wise to head up to the top first, then, and just get the alfalfa done. No, in fact, I'm not going to. We're going to get this done here. Start it up. We will have uh, an alfalfa hay bale ready. And is this going to start baling this? It's not. I could... We definitely had the bale straw permissions on here. So I don't know what's going on. So I double checked and the uh, collect straw from missions uh, that is activated. But for some reason, I can't get uh, the straw. Uh, I, I can't get it to, to collect up the straw. Um, I have just done a whole. I've just gone and bailed up the alfalfa field as a result. Uh, it was slightly annoying. I thought I was recording. I wasn't. So, uh, yeah. Um, we got exactly five alfalfa bales off there, though. Uh, searching the field for the last couple of litres just to finish the bale off. And, uh, yeah, that is all done. So, we are now heading back down to uh, the field we got just above field 17 uh, that isn't actually numbered at all. And, in fact... We need to replow. One of the things that, that we need to do at the end of this year is uh, replow this field and replant it with uh, grass again and probably put a road in at the same time as I've talked about. So let's start this up and put this down. But yeah, so looks like we cannot get the straw from the mission. Uh, of the straw from the contract which is annoying uh, but it isn't the end of the world uh, we will be in a, a pretty good position with that uh, field anyway uh, we've got the excess uh, trickle although it isn't in our silo because our silo at the moment doesn't take that I need to get that modified so that that goes into there um, so we're not going to make the money off that uh, we'll keep the alfalfa bales, uh, hay bales, I think, and we we'll, may sell these ones. We've got a, uh, we've got that issue with the rain coming, where we need to get that sorted. Uh, I was saying it earlier, which didn't get captured, but the bales perform so much better in FS19. They roll so much less than they did in the previous games. I'm really intrigued to see how uh, the physics Im have improved with FS22. Because they just have improved with every version of this game. And uh, and with the excitement building for, for FS22 now, uh, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking forward to. Is uh, changes to physics and, and updates and things just make everything just that so much more playable. Uh, is, uh, is going to be pretty cool. Right, let's drop that one off there. Like so. And move on to the next one. And uh, we should get a decent number of bales off this field. We normally do. Uh, I think we're going to have to have to use the TW25, as I was saying earlier, to go and get these bales uh, collected. Uh, with an and I, I think we have to use the Anderson bale stacker. Get these all collected up and get them in in time. Only really the way we can do this. But that is just chugging along nicely, producing a good number of bales 
and uh, we'll see how many we end up with at the end of this field so this will be our tenth bale of this field let's just reverse that up a little bit and we've still got a section of the field to do down the far end so getting uh, the anderson stacker on here will just make sense uh we will get we i think it holds 14 bales 13 bales no it must hold 14 bales uh and uh, that will work quite well for us actually maybe it's 15 it's uh how many does it hold rather than me standing here going uh how much does it hold uh, let's have a look bailing technology there we bail handling so uh the anderson for round bales that holds 24 bales ah oh, wow that is a lot more than i thought it held we've uh yeah that is that is the stack of reunion so 24 bales is a lot more than i expected um for something that i've used a fair amount i would have thought i uh i knew it a little better than that but uh yeah 24 bales uh easily going to be able to get this field onto that and in fact probably the um alfalfa bales as well we can head over there grab the five bales we've got off there plus the well we're coming up to 11 bales on here uh, both sets should fit on here and then that will be all these bales cleared up uh the only issue we've got of course is that we have to manually stack those these days into the shed uh simply because uh it's a tighter shed uh we have a, a different shed set up now and we we can't back them in uh very easily well we can when it's empty but the shed very much is not empty at the moment uh alternatively i might actually just go sell all these today uh, we have more than enough, as I've said before, more than enough uh, hay in, to keep our animals, uh, keep our horses nicely fed. So maybe a better choice, just to load all this up on the bale stacker and go and sell it and make a nice, tidy profit. Uh, that uh, Because we've missed out on, the, uh, on making it from the straw on the contract. Let's get this down here. One last row. Oh, we missed a bit as we came off that. We'll clear that up at the end if we need to. Uh, but looks like we're going to get uh, one more bale out of here, hopefully. Ah, uh, no, we're at 82%. So, yeah, we're going to have to go and scrounge around the field a little bit. See if we can get the last... Uh, 800 litres off here. I doubt we've got that much kicking around. No, this is uh, this is very much going to be 82%. Yeah, this is uh, 83%. There is not this much. We had it on the alfalfa field, amazingly. We had a lot, enough of it kicking around to, uh, to make that bail. But on here... I think that is going to be it. There might be a little bit more this way, but it's certainly not 700 litres worth. Yeah, you see there's some kicking around the edge here. Which how I'm quite going to get the head. Actually, the pickup on this is quite good. Uh, it's quite a wide pickup on this Ford Raider. But... into that again nowhere near enough kicking around this field and that I think is it there we go so uh, that's worked out quite well we've got uh, we've got another 83% off here so it won't take too much to get another hay bale off this I think we will sell this and I'll show you why because come down here uh you can see here we've got quite a 
full shed of uh, of hay bales uh, we've got the four alfalfa hay bales from last time we've got the rest of these in here uh, we, we don't need to to get the extra uh, the horses are in pretty good shape as far as feed and everything goes so I think we will just uh, get this washed down and, uh, and so we'll go park these two bits up this end uh, and we'll grab the T-Dub out of the shed because it's the only tractor that's really big enough to pull the Anderson and we will head down to the shop and go and hire that and get these bales collected up and sold £2,641 to lease the bale stacker and we're down here with the TW25 as long as we make more than that on getting these uh, getting these sold we'll be good bring these round yeah these we are we are better off selling this stuff to make the cash uh, makes much more sense from that point of view Oh, and one more to loop around and grab. There we go. And in. There we are. So five bales off here. Uh, let's fold that back up and head back over uh, to our uh, hay bales and get those collected up as well. And we're up into the hay field let's just grab this a little bit of a tight and uh tight getting into that entrance there but uh we have managed to get this very long pale stacker into the field shouldn't take us too long to get these collected up it's a nice quick efficient way of doing this uh with this and i like it a lot this bale stacker There we go. How many bales have we got today? We're, we're already up to nine. So that will be our tenth. Eleventh and twelfth up the top here. Yeah, and 15 bales in total by the looks of things. Uh which is a very good amount of bales. Let's bring this round and in. There we go. And then one more here. And then all of this will go down to uh, the bale area near the shop. And we can see how much we make. So fold it up, 15 bales on here. Now I've got to swing this right round, or I've got to go the long way. I think, can we swing this round here? It's gonna be a tight turn. Oh, little bit in the hedge, but we have made it round. Okay, let's go and head down to the sell point and see how much money we make because it is coming up to the end of the day i don't think we'd have got this done if we had to have the straw to be honest so uh, that might actually prove to be beneficial overall and here we are at the other set of stables let's just pull up into here take it nice and wide it's always good fun getting in here and selling stuff off uh, don't have to worry too much about getting this out. We can just uh, return this as soon as we've done this. We're not looking to hold on to this for very long, uh, this bale stacker. It very much is a, uh, a once and, uh, and dump kind of thing that we're doing with it. We should hopefully make more than the 2,600 uh, that we spent to, to get it. Otherwise, uh, yeah, this would be a uh, more of a waste uh, doing this this way. But... The speed very much is what we were going for today. Uh, I think the alpha, the alfalfa hay actually tends to make a little bit more money. So, with any luck, we should make 
a decent amount on this. In it goes, 374 for the Alpha Alpha. There we go. Wow. The Alfalfa actually might make slightly less looking at that. That's really interesting. But we did make way more than we borrowed on this. Uh, one other thing I need to do before we go, and that is... Go into our contracts here and complete this for uh, the 6,186. So uh, let's collect that. Um, and then I will get my combine home and uh, and we can go from there. But this is, uh, this is where we're going to end it for today, I think. Uh, pretty happy with this. It's uh, we, we lost the money from the straw, but otherwise it's all been fine. Um, which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.